Steve Eccles, a principal design engineer for Honeywell's Turbo Machinery Systems Division, suggested the topic for this month's tip. Steve and I are both irritated by the people who think the primary datum feature for a hole has to be the surface that is perpendicular to the hole. Let's take the support bracket as an example. It mounts onto this base plate and its main purpose in life is to locate and orient the pivot pin. Functionally this back surface would want to be your primary datum feature and so I've labeled that as datum feature A. The part is located using these two bosses and so those two bosses have been made datum feature B. Then the hole that is going to receive the pin is held in position to AB. This position tolerance is not only locating the hole relative to A at that 25 millimeter dimension, but it is also controlling the parallelism of the hole relative to the primary datum feature. Some people might think that this surface or the one on the other side should be selected as the primary datum feature for the position of this hole because they may think that that's how this is going to be supported when the hole is put in the part but that would be silly. That's not how this part works. A few things to keep in mind when a designer or design engineer selects datum features based on how they think the part will be produced. First of all, they are usually guessing and really don't know how the part is going to be made. But even if they do, the part may not function that way. So you get a part that's easy to produce, but it doesn't work. And what if the process changes or you change suppliers? Do you really think anybody's going to go back and change the datum referencing on the drawing? No way. The function remains the same even if the process changes. So let's select datums based on their function. Thanks Steve for the excellent tip suggestion. I encourage anyone getting these tips to submit your tip suggestions through our website at www.techies.com and I'll see you next month.